everyone, it's Crystal Ann Compton. I'm sorry if the audio is a little weird. I don't have a microphone. And I honestly don't know whether I'm going to put this up or not. I just got a massage, and I'm really happy that I did that because massage or therapeutic touch really helps us to move things out of our body. And when I get a massage, I try to be really intentional about it. Like every stroke, down my body I try to say an affirmation I try to have a prayer I also try to identify with the part of my body that's being touched and I try to love it very actively send messages of love just so that I can affirm <laughs> my mind body spirit connection anyway today I got a massage I really needed it because my life has just been crazy and honestly this year has been incredibly difficult incredibly difficult for me and I just wanted to share with you what that looks like and, and how I'm coping with it and I'm pretty emotional about it because this is something that I've dealt with so many times anyway I'm going through a really dark period in my life right now in which patterns that I truly seek to resolve in my life. I have the intention, like, let me clear this pattern, keep emerging. And these patterns emerge at the most inopportune and really terrible times. And in particular, these patterns emerge right when I'm on the brink of accomplishing something really important, which would cause a massive up leveling or a massive shift for me and then for my my life really and right before the thing that seems 100% guaranteed to happen in order for the shift to happen right before it's supposed to happen something goes wrong and the rug is pulled out from underneath me and everything pretty much goes to crap and there's there's no rhyme and there's no reason for it and this has been happening ever since I was a child and in this particular situation and honestly in this in all of in, there's a pattern with regard to security and to where I actually live and not ever feeling no matter how much money I make and I'm I, and I, I'm financially sound, okay, but like no matter how much money I make, the place in which I live, there's always like some sort of an issue with it, and I end up moving or relocating or not feeling secure in the space. Like, can I keep this? Is this mine? Can I build a life here? Over the last 10 or 20 years, I've moved, I, I don't even know how many times, so many times. And I'm in the process now, as some of you know, of trying to move again and this has been going on since February <laughs> and anyway without going into the details right at the, the moment in which like everything was gonna shift and change like everything got ruined and we're back to square one and I mean I'm safe I'm okay but I found myself really upset with spirit and really upset with my divine emissaries currently speaking to you I'm really upset with them because I'm human and I know that when I'm feeling emotions like this it's an invitation to align back to that divine connection that I teach you guys about and so for the past, I don't know, week since this has all been happening, and really uh, this, the critical part of everything has been happening for about a week. So the past week when everything went dark and everything got terrible, all I've been trying to do is align back, align back, align back. Just the work. And I think the reason Spirit wants me to talk to you is because Well, you need to know that sometimes in life that happens. 
there's two things at play here. One, there is a signal or a sub-signal that exists within me that continues to attract these situations into my life and continues to put me in precarious positions where I'm about to achieve and then I do not achieve. I ultimately always do achieve though. But there's always some big catastrophic clusterfuck that happens right before that seems to throw everything into disarray, causing me to question and get upset and get spun out. And then it settles down and everything works out the way that it should. So I know the pattern. I've been in the pattern a million times. And every time I get close now to achieving something, I'm kind of like waiting for the, the shoe to drop because I'm like, I know how life works. And then with this one, I really like did the work in my mind, the imaginal mind. I really kept my energy where it needed to be and it happened anyway. And so the first thing that I need to figure out is where's that signal coming from and how do I heal it? Now, I know how to heal. I, I know how to heal it. I just don't think I've found it yet. I don't think I've found the source signal. I don't think I've found it yet. And that's because in my life, there's been so many things that have happened that have caused wonky signals like from the abuse that I suffered, the shit that I saw, the poverty that I lived in, the space that I lived in, the constant transient nature of my life, the romances, the failed relationships, the violence, the substance abuse that I witnessed. There's been so many things placed inside of me at such a foundational age, which is childhood, that I am signaling unconsciously and it's about rooting out these signals. Now I say to spirit, can't I just stand before the timeline of my childhood and bring healing to the entire thing? And spirit is showing me, yes, it is possible to do that. You don't have to go back in to each and every single time something happened in order to find the signal. Like for me, that's forever. That will take me an entire lifetime. I don't want to spend my lifetime doing that work only. I want to spend my lifetime achieving, accomplishing, continuing, getting, getting more and more into the vibration of my light work. So I believe in timeline work. I believe in soul retrieval. Spirit is dealing with me about these sub signals. And soon I believe the reason I'm going through this is because spirit is right now bringing through me protocols through which I can heal this. I can heal this. It doesn't change, however, the devastating nature of this problem. And me, 3D reality, Chris Twain Compton. I was up last night and I just put up the post this morning. We, uh, I was in the lab and we did a remote viewing exercise and maybe you guys watched that and partook of it. It was just so we could kind of connect with how spirit talks to us. But one of the envelopes that I held up for people to connect to contained a picture of Jesus Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane. Now, I have a strong connection to Jesus Christ. I really like that moment in Gethsemane because Christ on his knees is asking, Spirit, please don't let this happen. Tomorrow is the day that it goes down, the crucifixion. Please don't let this happen. If you can take this from me, I would truly appreciate it. But he ends that prayer with, but thy will be done. Thy will be done. And if it is your will that this happens to me, I'm okay with that. Powerful. I constantly return to Gethsemane. But I forgot about Christ on the cross. Christ on the cross as he's hanging there. He says a couple, of, well, he says some profound things, right? But one of the things he says is, Father, why have you forsaken me? Father, why have you betrayed me? I've been out for all these years teaching people, turning water into wine, giving them loaves and fishes, parables, healing people, raising people from the dead. Why have you betrayed me? He felt that. And in this moment, I feel that. And it's okay. I feel that. And it's okay. In life, it's okay to feel that from time to time. Why, Spirit? Why did you betray me? I'm doing everything that I can 
to be in integrity and to be in love and to give of myself. That's all I want. I don't want to be a rich person. I don't want to be a rich person. I'm not here to be famous. I'm here to be of service. Why? Would you betray me? I feel that. Christ on the cross, he felt that. And I connect to that strongly. But the question I want to ask you, and I'd love to hear your comments about it, is how did Christ go from Father? Why have you forsaken me to Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing? How did he, hanging on a cross, stabbed in his side, tortured, go from anger and betrayal and rejection into a space of love, the kind of love that rises above all others, forgiveness? Father, bless them anyway. Father, they don't get it. Father, they are children. They don't know. Father, bless them. Give them peace. Love them. Father, forgive them. How did he do it? Because that's what I need to do. I need to go from the first statement to the second statement. And I think just in speaking it out and connecting with Christ's energy, I'm in the process of doing it. We don't always know why. You know, it doesn't always feel fair. It's not fair. And people will fucking shit on you, man. They will. And people will hurt you. And life will fucking whip you. It will. But that's the nature of this earth reality. That's why we came here. We came here to feel that. Because we learn like this. On, on one day, Christ went from this mindset to that mindset. That's learning, man. That's shifting. That is ultimate transmutation. That's the potential of this life. And really, that's the potential of pain. And it's the potential of struggle. And for me, I'm getting grateful. I'm getting grateful for being here. And I am grateful for everything that I have. And if it's all stripped away from me, I'm grateful for having lived. It's hard. It hurts. But thy will be done. And to the crystal that exists in the past and to the crystal that exists in the future, I love you. And I speak health into you. And I speak security into you. And I speak peace into you and total healing and I invite you into full integration with myself present I want you to know you're safe and whatever life gives to you you can take it you're gonna be okay it does get better and I love you I love you God, I just want to pray for anybody out there right now with this kind of struggle or any struggle. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't have to be cataclysmic, catastrophic, but anybody going through struggle or pain, I pray blessings on them and clarity. And I speak abundance into them and health and wellness and understanding and deep connection, deep connection to the source of all things. I speak miracles into their lives. I speak success, the attainment and the achievement of goals. May you have that. Bless you. Bless you. May you have all of that from the beginning of time 
to the present and to the end of time, may you be whole and healthy and loved and feel that. I give that to you, and by doing so, I feel that for myself. Thank you for listening to me. I'm sorry that it's so emotional, but it's the way it's got to be. I'll be all right. You know, I got this. I love you. Bye, guys.